What up everyone, Matt here, and today we're back with another expansion from Native Instruments, Body Mechanic. Body Mechanic explores the development of EBM from its early new wave incarnations to the kind of main room industrial techno that has ignited Europe's most hallowed dance floors over the last few years. This expansion includes exclusive machine content such as patterns, drum synths, bass synths, comes with 50 machine kits, 55 battery kits, 25 massive presets, 14 Monarch presets, and over a thousand loops and samples. Expect sampled groove boxes and industrial kits, distorted bass, punctured synth stabs, and metallic affected kits for relentless sonic exploration. Let's check out some of these included machine projects. Today, we're gonna to work in Logic Pro with Complete Control Machine and see what we can create. All right, so I have an instance of Complete Control open. I'm gonna to go to Loops, click on Body Mechanic, and I'm gonna filter by Bass. What's cool is it plays in time with my tempo, and I like this one, I'm gonna drag it into Logic. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Double click on the region, go to Smart Tempo. I'm gonna to go to Edit and apply Project Tempo to Region and Downbeat. What this does is it automatically stretches it to my tempo. I'm gonna switch it to Polyphonic and duplicate this four times. All right, that sounds good. I applied some fades as well. Now I'm gonna add a filter and automate the high pass from the beginning. Slowly let it open up. Awesome, that sounds great there. I'm gonna duplicate it and make it eight measures. Now I'm gonna open another instance of complete control, load up massive, Go to all banks, click on body mechanic. I'm gonna go to synth leads. Actually, this one's pretty cool. Let's load this in. So one thing I'm noticing is there's an LFO on it that's not restarting. So I'm gonna go to the LFO tab, make it start high, drag it over. Now I'm gonna add round to give it some reverb. Set it pretty high, 70, 80%. Now let's record this. All right, that sounds good. I'm gonna double click the region, quantize everything. Now let's load up an instance of machine. I'm gonna to go to all groups, click body mechanic, find a group I like. Let's go ahead and load this one and start sequencing something. All right, so I'm gonna go to the step sequencer, put kicks on all my downbeats, go back to the snare, snares on twos and fours. Let's record some hi-hats. Also gonna record some claps.
quantize it. Let's double this pattern. A little tom fill there and a crash on the downbeat. All right, I think we got a cool groove going. I'm just going to delete some of the claps from the intro so it feels like it's progressing. All right, now with another instance of complete control, I'm in my loops tab. I'm going to sort by drums and hi-hats. These are cool. I'm just going to drag them straight in my project. I'm going to hit Command Shift P, which does the same stretching feature that I did earlier with Smart Tempo. Switch this to Polyphonic, and let's play that back. All right, so now what I want to do is make an arpeggiator out of a one shot. Found a cool lead synth here. We're going to switch this to the audio engine. I'm going to shorten it. Now we're going to turn on the arpeggiator. This is built into complete control. So we can turn this on. I'm going to change the octave to two. Playing a chord, this is what it does. All right, we got that recorded. Let's go ahead and add some effects to it. I'm going to quantize it, double it, turn it down just a bit. I'm going to add WoW 2 from Sugar Bites. It's a cool distortion and filter plugin. We'll just crank these to about two o'clock. All right, that's cool. Let's also add round just to give it some space. All right, cool. Last thing I want to do is add a pad here. So I'm in my loops. I found a pad. I'm actually going to change this one to a sampler. Change it to ADSR so I have more control. I'm also going to pitch it up for semitone so it lands on the right root note. All right, this is cool. Let's shorten it and layer it in. All right, we got it in there. I'm going to quantize it and stretch all the notes so they tap each other. Turn the velocity up all the way. And now I'm going to add a plugin called Shaper Box. Let you do cool volume automation. I'm going to go to Rhythm 2 and we'll just select one here. Cool, I'm also just gonna add round to make it flow a little smoother. I like this a lot, so I'm gonna put it in my intro as well. And let's play this back, see what we got. And that's Body Mechanic. Thanks for tuning in and check it out at nativeinstruments.com.